Hi, welcome to Cowboy Studio and our instructional video series. Today, I want to show you our M1 strobe case. Now, this particular case, you'll notice it's a little taller, thinner, kind of awkward shape. This is made to carry kind of medium-sized items like your strobes. This is not going to be one of the complete carry cases that can take your light stands and your strobes and your kitchen sink and whatever else you need in the world of photography on your shoots. This is just going to carry kind of your medium-sized equipment. Some people prefer that, especially if they have the larger stands that don't fit in those complete cases anyway. Now what you're going to notice, if you look over here, we've got a lot of kind of different inserts here. What's happening a lot with our cases these days is we're giving them to you with just the case, kind of loose and floppy, and then with these different inserts, like this thin hard one, this kind of thicker foam, and this thinner foam, and these are inserts that you can use to build the side panels to your preferred specifications. So maybe you want to use the hard foam with a little of the soft foam, with the hard foam kind of facing outward so that outward items aren't going to hit and hurt your items, and the soft kind of on the inside to create a little more cushion. Maybe you just want this thicker foam because when you feel it, you say, man, that's tough and that's going to do a pretty good job. You can choose. That's the great thing about this type of case. So when you go to insert the foam panels, we're going to kind of look in here. I've already done a few just to kind of show you how, but then we're also going to do one through the video. So right now I've got the panels already inserted on the sides and on this back part here. And what we're going to do is you'll notice you can pull out that insert and you'll be able to actually slide in one of those side panels. So in this case I've got the hard foam one and we just slide it in. It's literally like a sleeve and once you've kind of got it sleeved in we're just going to turn it and insert it into the case. And that right there just became the back panel of our case. So let's show you how to do it on the front one. And when we pull it out, it's just kind of loose. You've just kind of got a pocket here. So if I want to grab this panel one, I just want to line it up with that pocket. Make sure I've got it. And you just want to kind of slide it in there. And then once you've got it, that's going to create a nice hard barrier. Pick it up. Because these are a little flexible, you'll be able to insert it in pretty easily. And just like that, I've built up my case. So you can use any combination of these panels for the side and for that front and back that you want. But once you're done with those, and you maybe have some excess there, you also, on this particular case, have these kind of inserts like this. Now these, you'll notice, has some kind of Velcro there. These are going to stick really well to the inside of this case. So I want to kind of make sure that my Velcro is at the front and back. Insert this panel and just make sure that my Velcro sides are touching. And just like that, I've created a barrier between my strobes or whatever I'm putting in here. And because I have two of these and because they're detached, I can decide where I want them and get them lined up so if maybe I have one larger strobe and one smaller or large strobe and some small items, I can create my own barrier sizes. And because of this little lip here, you can also have something that can reach the length of it, either at the top or because these are reversible, you can have that at the bottom and maybe have something longer down there, a small light stand or a mini tripod or something else that's going to need to be the length of the case. And just like that, I've got a case all ready to go and to cart off all of my strokes. Now this does have a couple of buckles on it, just want to show you, so that you can kind of tie this up. And then you're going to have both the hand carry strap right up here, as well as the shoulder carry strap, which is adjustable. You can make it a little longer than this. You also have some pockets, of course, here on the sides. So this particular case is going to be really great for your mid-sized items, and it's going to be a pretty portable size, too, for carrying off and taking your stuff, your equipment on location. Now, if you have any questions about this product or any of our others, please visit the cowboystudio.com website.